Okay. Okay. Good. I'm um, just watching here, guys. Just watching the sterling yen. I'm not sure. This is, have we missed it? I, I literally just walked. I just was on a phone call, so I just literally just came to the screen. I'm watching the sterling yen. We know. Ah, it's been up to up to twenty. Immediately after the news, so we were looking to go short sterling in around twenty-two, twenty-three, um, but it's now gone. It's down to down to 09 now so it's not much point for me so um if it does go up to 22 23 then it will be worthwhile considering to go short on sterling in nice spike up there um did anybody anybody take the sterling in short from 22 23 think we were how that euro dollar at 09 it's okay it's it's reasonable I'll probably wait for 0405 if I can get it um, it's at 11 right now probably wait for around 0, it's up to 14 15 right now as a matter of fact I think 04 to 05 could be a better level <laughs> 04 to 05 could be a better level to go long on euro dollar if you see it so so hoping we get some better price action on it now. Also, we have obviously the ECB um, chairman is talking, Draghi. So okay, here we are down. Okay, we're getting some movement now, guys. I'm going to be very careful because the ECB chairman is talking. I'm, okay, I'm long euro dollar here at 07. Make sure I've been filled. 07.4. So be a little bit careful with this. You can get much better entries than me right now, but I have a pretty rubbish entry actually. I'm long from 07. I must admit, I'm going to be watching it very carefully. I may consider adding shortly and then put a very tight stop loss below that. In fact, I'm not going to add. I'm, I'm going to get out here for. I'm going to add here. I'm long from 07. Seven. I've added at 96 on this euro dollar, and I'm gonna put a stop loss around 1992. So let's just watch for a second. 06 and 96. I'm in from. I'm gonna close out my 06, 07. Sorry, 07 and 96. Sorry. So I'm in from 07. Added at 96, and I'm gonna to try to close out my 07 as quickly as possible for break even. 06. I've closed out my better position and I've taken plus 13 on my better on my worst position <laughs> well I'm so good trade Excellent start. Good start. So you guys got some profit. Excellent. I'm still running one position here from um, actually had a rubbish entry actually. It was, I'm running one position from 96. So just gonna run that. We are making fresh lows, so we are now in a around 20 if I can put my stop loss to break even from my 96 position. No, uh, so I wouldn't get in again at the figure. I would get in around the sort of 90s if it, if you see it again. Often be like over. Oh, in fact, it's going to go up to 13. Okay, so I'm up 20. Okay, I'm out at. Wait, wait. Let it go up. Let it go up. Okay, 22. Out at 22. Out at 22. That was nice. Nice easy trade. We can all go home now, and that we can wrap up the session for the day now. Good stuff, excellent, Casey. Uh, quite obvious trade. <coughs> so I know Ingalls is in that trade as well, but obviously since I'm on mic, I'm sort of doing it on mic basically, so it's easier. Excellent trade, Ingalls, well done. So hopefully most of you guys got some profit on Larry because of Draghi stalking, but I would consider going short on Euro dollar around about 30. If I can get opportunity.
Yeah, Mark. Well, I mean, hopefully you could have gotten in, even if you, got, you could have got a better entry. Anyway, if you got anywhere on the figure, you could have gotten in, actually, and got some good profit. Yeah, 38 is not good. 38 is not bad, but we have made a fresh low on the five minutes. So I'd be tempted to get in around 30, actually. Mark, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, Mark. But look, what's the, what's the worst that could have happened? You got in it, I don't know, figure. When you lose 10 pips on that trade, it's not going to do bankrupt. Well, it shouldn't Okay, now let's just watch it's euro dollar around about 30. Definitely be getting some good volatility, and obviously having draggy around helps. So this actually is a good session, hopefully, for us. Now, what's the plan with euro dollar? I'll be tempted to go short at 32 and put a stop. You know, and I, wow, we could have had a lot more pips, you know. Anybody keep the euro dollar from the 90s or the figure? Okay, Engels in 29. I'm waiting for slightly better entry. Oh, I hope I haven't missed it. I think Engels, I may have missed it also. No, 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 don't tell me I missed it. I'm trying to get a sweeter entry, actually. I'm trying to get a 30 entry, actually. Okay, we're pushing up a little bit, so we may... 32, 33 as well. I'm looking to get in if I get a chance. William, I'm going to focus on the euro dollar. This is where the action seems to be because obviously Mr. Draghi himself is on the top. Talking. So around about 32, 33. Yeah, and Mark, as I was saying, I mean, I think you need to, as we, we talked a lot about this, I think we talked about this in the course as well. If you know your risks when you're getting the trade, what, the worst that can happen is that you lose 10 pips. Big deal. It's not an issue at all from that point of view, really. At all. You, as long as you define your risk before you get into the trade, so you say, okay, I'm going to get in at a figure, put a stop loss of 19. That's it. Your risk is 10 pips. That's all your risk is. There's nothing else involved, really, is there? When, when your risk is defined, then hopefully there should be no emotion involved. If there's no emotion involved, then, then you can make easy money out of it. You just define your risk before you get in. I think that's the key. Okay, watching your dollar now. Now, it hasn't been, a, um, it, it's come down from 29 already when Engels got in, back up to 28, 29. I'm going to wait around 34, 35 now, to be honest, because this looks like it may go a little bit higher. Okay, 33. Okay, I'm in at 34. Uh, okay, I'm not going to post this in an announcement because it's spiked, but I'm short your dollar at 34. I'm not going to post this announcement. Uh, if I'm still in it and it goes back to 34, I will post it in the chat. I will post it in an announcement, but it, you guys will not have gotten in because it's just way too quick. I got in around 33.8. 33.7 actually I got in, sorry, correction. So I'm not going to post this as a trade because it's not reproducible. It's just too quick actually. But we were looking for around 33, 34 as the entry. Again, it doesn't go to the post to trade, so don't worry about it in terms of auditing purposes. We're very transparent here. I'm, I'm not going to post any trades which I, I don't feel you guys have gotten in on. It just wouldn't be fair. And it's not what we're about. Okay, I'm just, just for information, I'm taking... Ah, beautiful. I'm taking 10 pips on half. I'm taking 10 pips on half. But I'm not posting this on any kind of trade, okay? Excellent. A few guys got it. It does not go as announced trade. It does not go towards a trade room tally because it, 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 it was too quick and therefore it wasn't fair. Simple as that. Okay, we're pushing up again. A few guys got in, which is excellent. Well done, Caroline. Well done, David. Well done, Mohammed. I expect mom, mom to get in. He's a, he's a seasoned trader. Laughing. Literally laughing. But so often we don't get it. We get a dull, boring session. We just sit there and I get bored. You guys get bored and we all get bored. Boredom is not good. 
Okay, now what are we looking to do next? Um, I'm, I put my stop loss to break even. Yeah, yesterday. And I'm just about to get stopped out. Okay, I'm stopped out now. So I'm out of my second half. I'm going to watch for around about 42.43 with a potential add just above the 50. Stop loss tight above that. Let's wait and see. Um, yeah, uh, Euro Yen 75. Let's just have a look. Uh, Mohammed, I'm I'm going to leave it till a bit higher. I mean, I know what you. I'm not convinced about dollar yen yet. I would definitely be prefer taking it. Okay, I'm not in your dollar again. I was waiting for better entry. Few people got it. You guys are minting money, honestly. I wish Draghi was talking every day. Maybe we should get a fund together and pay him to have a chat every day for an hour and a half, one thirty to three o'clock. Just pay him a little bit of my money for that. Fund. Tricky cliche. Okay, back up to 37. <coughs> Around 40 is now. I'm looking for mid 40. We've had a two good trades. Well, I have a two good trade. One which we documented, one which we didn't. But I think a few people got in on that. The most important thing is forget about whether we post in the room or not. As long as people get in on trade, that's the most important thing. I'm going to wait around. And had a okay. Here we are. Should be 40. Ah, okay. I'm in at 40. Waiting for a second. Waiting for not in yet. 45. But just a little bit careful now. This is shooting a little bit. So I'm in at 45. Just going to be a little bit careful with this. It's a quick move up. So. Short at 45 on this euro dollar, keeping it tight, just watching it really, really carefully. I'm in 45, up two or three pips right now. I'm just going to, I'm going to chance to post it because I'm just watching the price actually. I don't want to post it, miss something. So I'm, I'm in from just watching it carefully now. I'd probably consider adding at 50, 51, put a stop loss tight above that. Anybody didn't get anything back, back in the same price? Okay, we're pushing up a little bit. Just going to be a little bit careful here, guys. 51. Okay, I've added at 51. 50.8 50 actually I've added at. Put a stop loss just above the 55, 56 level. I'm going to try to... Sorry, I'm not having a chance to actually post anything because I'm just so focused on the trade. Right? I don't... If I start posting it, okay, 45, 44, 43. Okay, I'm closing out my burst position from 45 at 43. And I'm in from 50.8. Now, okay, I'm just watching up a little bit here. May consider adding again. Ah, I missed the add. I was going to consider adding. I'm in from 50.8 right now, so I brought back my risk a little bit. I'm still in from 50.8. May consider adding at 60 now, and put a stop loss just below that. Euro in also at 88. I'm focused on the euro dollar right now, so I'm going to stick to that. Okay. I'm just Something I should. Watching it carefully. I'm going to add around 58, 59. Excellent trade, Chris. Well done. Okay, I'm starting from 50.8. I haven't added yet. <clears throat> it's just quick trading, okay? I'm, I'm obviously the market is moving quickly, which is fine. 
we obviously we can't moan we can't moan when the market is not moving and then we can't moan when the market is moving quickly we just have to accept what it is i wish i'd added maybe at 56 now but anyway hey excellent trading Mohammed, well done not sure what you took but well done So I'm insulin for 50.8, 51 effectively. Okay, let me just post that. Uh, I, I don't want to post it. Keep my eyes on, on the screen. But I'm, I'm basically in from 51 right now. Close out my 45 for plus one and a half on 1.8 or something. I'm not even going to post that. It's threatened. I want it to come down quicker than this. It's a little bit not that keen. I break even right now on this. It is trying to hold around this 50s area. Okay, I'm putting my stop loss to break even now because I'm from 51. So at worst, it's a free trade for me. If it spikes up, I'll wait for 60th entry. I'm just wanting it to come down 50.8, 51 entry. And if it's if I get stopped out, I'll look to re-enter in the late 50s, early 60s. Still in it, 50.6 I saw. Okay, I've been stopped out. I'm going to look to re-enter now. Okay, you guys are making some money on Euro. Well done, guys, on Euro. I was focused on the Euro dollar. Okay, so I'm currently flat on this euro dollar. I'm going to wait for around about 60, 62 on euro dollar. Made about a pip and a half. I think on that move. I'm going to wait for around 6, 58 to 61 now. Hey, well done, Frederick. You guys are making money, man. Why am I the only guy didn't make any money in the last move, move apart from a pip? Urian worked beautifully as well from 88. Again, the levels work. The levels, it's just amazing. If you just look at the accuracy of the levels, 88, simple trade. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Don't drop without me, Euro dollar. I'll be very cheesed off if it drops now down to 40 without me. Don't do this to me. Don't drop. Go up to 60 and then drop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we we could have made we could have made a massive amount of money. We were long your dollar from 96 guys. 96 we were long your dollar from. We are up 60 points on that level potentially. But anyway, it's, we made something on it. I made about 22, 23. And I'm not going to quibble too much about it. Don't. Don't worry about what you could have got. Worry about what you achieved. As long as what you achieved is reasonable, you can't argue that. If you achieve two, three pips, 20 points, and that's reasonable. Okay, your dollar is 52. We're just taking a little bit of time now. So I'm, I'm going to wait around, there's a pivot point around 62, 64, I'm going to wait till there. We had a good trading session, we made some decent money without really too much sweat. So there's no point giving it up with a bad entry. So I'm going to get in around 62, 64 on this euro dollar. I'm not going to chase the entries now. Urian coming back up again, but it's already been there once, so not well, such a great idea perhaps. It's still a strong level you're in at 88, but I'm, I think the action on the euro dollar, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to vote, wait for entry around 62, 64, add at 72, stop loss above 75. 52, 53. Anyway, can't be helped. No, 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 don't drop. This is such a wicked price, actually. I wish we got it more often, actually. 
Okay. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. You're okay, I'll stop saying no, 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 then. Well done, Mohammed. Excellent stuff. So again, strong levels. Yeah, I agree, Galib. It's a strong level on the higher time frames as well. The high on your was actually 90. Is it, it just shows you the power of the levels. The high on your was 88, 90. Where was the support on your 87 to 88, 89. There was nothing else there apart from those levels. And the your bounced like a treat from 88 to 90. Just the power. I, I know I keep on saying this a lot, and it probably sounds like a board broken record, but nothing beats support resistance across multiple time frames. You can know it well in advance. We knew you're in at 88, 89 well before we took the trade. You wait for your entry, you get in, you make your money. Simple as that. Support resistance across multiple time much in real time, you know this well in advance. It's money, it's good money. Now oh, come on, let's get some more price action. Anybody got any questions, please feel to type them in the chat. For once, I'm glad there's a good price action. Normally, I'm getting bored, stiff, and asking for questions, but hopefully today has been good price action. 55. Okay, here we are. This guy is moving up now. 63, 64 is tempting for me. Here we are. 61, 62. Oh, waiting is 64. Okay, I'm in at 60, 65, 65 I'm in at. 65 short on this euro dollar looking to add around 72 73 if I need to stop loss tight around 75 so here we are down up four or five pips on this right now not 65 correction but now oh, come on drop your little thing okay here we are 57 58 sorry 57 for second Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, drop. This is quick price session, quick movement. This is where you, this is the, these, for these days are the days which you oil your fingers for. Okay, 57, I'm going to take half off here at 57. It's a plus 8 on that. From 65 bit, it's 64.8, so 65 effectively. But these are the days, it's for these days that, you, that we oil our fingers, basically. So okay, back up again to 64. Still, I'm still in it, so I'm just going to watch it. Aussie, I think uh, Casey got six, some profit on the Aussie. Well done, Casey. Slow mover, but still profit. Okay, I'm just about to get stopped out here. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run this position. I'm not going to stop myself out. I'm going to keep it here. I still like the 65 levels. I'm still in it from 65, half my position. So I've taken half off and I'm running half of 65 still. I still think it's a good level here. It's a, there's a pivot point. I'm happy. I've taken half off anyway, so I've locked in some profit. I can afford to do that now. So I'm going to run it a little bit here. Look, maybe add a 72, 73, but a stop loss is 75, 76. So back down to 60 again, so plus 5 again. So I'm still in it from 65. I'm going to give it a bit more room to breathe. I've made some progress. Um, I, wish, I wish we had this price action every day. You can make a good amount of money. You can also lose a good amount of money if you don't have the grids and you don't know what levels you're getting in at. But as hopefully I've demonstrated, Define levels well in advance, profit to be made. Execution without emotion, having faith in the levels, having faith in the system, managing risk and knowing your loss before you get in. This is the key. Knowing before you take your trade, what's your mass maximum risk on this trade? Defining your risk before you get into trade, not after you trade. In at 65, stop loss 72, stop loss, sorry, in at 65, add at 72, stop Nothing at all to fear because we've defined the risk before we got in. Okay, add plus 10 for a second there. 
Excellent. Hey, Barry, well done. Excellent, Mohammed. Okay, now it's been up to 65, but it's come down already. So what I am going to do, I'm going to put my stop loss to break even. I could have taken plus 10, to be honest. Just watching for a second. I'm putting my stop loss to couple of pips, not more. If I get stopped out, look to re-enter around about the 70 to 73. So a second half now, I'm putting my stop, because it went, went back up to 65 again, it's come down 10 pips, it hasn't gone any further. I'm going to put my stop loss to effectively break even from 65. And if I get stopped out, look to re-enter around about 72, 73. But I'm still in it from 65. This level it's miles away at 47 right now. Oh, come on, come. On. Let's see if, if you can break 55 this time on this euro dollar. We should see this. We should see this guy down to about 50. Now, oh, come on. This is the critical level. Let's break this 56, 55 level. Try to break it a few times now. Come on, let's break it. Still in it from 65. Come on, break this level 58. Just hang your on this level 58. Yeah, you're in it. If you can get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't stop me out. Okay, I'm out here at 66. I'm going to wait now till 70, 72, 70. Okay, I'm in again at 71.8. Short again at 71.8. The next level look at get in. So getting it at specific. Let me, I'll put it on a 71 as a black, black, black. You can get the same entry right now. You can get better entry me right now. What am I going to do with this? I'm, gonna, I'm just a little bit worried. I'm going to just put a 10 point stop loss on this. The next hour, it should. Okay, 70. I'm focusing purely on price session. So I can't look at any question right now because I don't want to miss this trade now. If I start looking at if I look at questions, then I will miss my price. I'm just purely looking at my dealing platform. I know the level that you're on the grids as well. So really, I know what levels and grids are. I'm just watching my platform now for entries. Come on, calm down now. 67. So in from 71.8, you, even if you didn't get it the first time, you definitely could have got it the second time. It went up to 72 again. To me, you're in about 20 minutes because of the news and so on and so on. So obviously. Okay, we're back to break even again. I had about plus four maximum on it. Still doing okay with this trade. Okay, 65. We'll probably get around 64, 63, close off half, half around 64, 63. 64, 63, I'm going to close out half my position again. Sixty-five, come on, one more pip down. Here we are, sixty-five, sixty-four, see yeah, sixty-four.
Ah, damn it, I should take into six, maybe. So let's break even again. We had about six and a few K. Okay, I'm going to put my second. I'm going to tighten my stop loss to 75. Okay, I'm tightening my stop loss from the 71 entry to 75 because it's been already a few pips here and there. So I'm going to tighten it to 75. If I get stopped out, look to re-enter around 84, 85. I had about plus six on a few occasions, I didn't take it, so I'm starting my stop loss to on the 80s as well. Okay, I'm gonna get stopped out. Okay, I'm stopped off for minus minus four as a matter of fact. May look at Yuri Yen as well. Yuri Yen pushing up as well. Let's, uh, let's just have a look change of tack. What's Tolly Yen? In fact, Yuri Yen looks like a good option, guys. Let's watch the Yuri Yen now. Let's change tack a little bit. Where's Yuri Yen? Where's my Yuri Yen? Sorry, it's need to. Okay, 12 on the Yuri So I'm short Yuri Yen at 12. Dolly Yen is at a good level here, so I'm shorting Yuri Yen at 12. Change of tack now. I'm just going to focus, do the euro yen for a bit now. Go bored with euro dollar for a second. Still think euro dollar is a good support. The reason why I'm picking euro yen now is because dollar yen has moved up. And euro dollar comes down, then euro yen should come down nicely. Again, we're in from 12. We'll probably look to add around 20 on it. And put a stop loss around about. 25, 26. Let's see where we go here. And just really, you can't, you can't say no to that trade. It has to be taken. As long as your dollar comes down a little bit. Okay, we're up plus five, plus six. Come on down, you're again. Up five, five pips. I didn't take five last time. I'll give it a bit more room. Okay, at 04. Push down. Okay, here we are. 0, uh, 04. I'm going to get half off here at 04. Plus 8. So I got some little bit of revenge back. Back. Half from 12. This is fun session. Fun price session. Fun as can be. No barrier. Well, I think everybody else can hopefully hear me. I'm sorry if you can't, but sound should be fine. Um, anybody else take the euro in with me, guys? It did come back up to 11 again after. I know you took it, moment, but I'm talking anybody else. Anybody? Good stuff. Excellent stuff. I expect you to take it, Mohammed. Euro dollar also actually not doing too badly. That 70 level may work on Euro dollar. Good stuff. So I'm glad a few people have got it. I'm really just focused on price action, guys. If, if I start looking at chat and questions, then I'm going to miss my entries. Good stuff. Guys, so most of you guys got some profit in the Euro yen. And that's a tasty level. An orange to white combined with an over under sweet, sweet levels. Especially with the bare dollar and euro dollar were at good levels of uh, uh, resistance, nice levels, nice trades. Now we're coming back up here. I'm just wondering if I should let it stop out for break even second half, or I should just give it a bit of room to breathe. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I'm going to give it a give it a few pips to breathe. Um, I've made some profit on it. I'm going to watch it carefully. I wish every day was like today. Okay, here we are. I may just get stopped out here, second half. I'm still in it. Still in it. I'm going to give it a couple of pips. Give it two or three pips. If I'm in from 12, so maybe give it till about 14 or something. Get stopped out. Look to re-enter around 22. It's miles away. It's actually at 92. So this guy could fall significantly. Especially if Draghi suddenly decides to change, say something. 
the opposite way, this could fall nicely. So I would still recommend keeping some URI in from 12. Okay, here we are, plus 8 for a second I saw. Again. Come on, let's see if we can get, get, get underneath the figure on this URI in now. Beautiful level in URI in. I mean, that really is that orange to white. Four to three to four column level combined with an uh, over under idea. Sweet, sweet trade on the euro yen. I mean, really, really sweet trade. It's orange to white. Almost up 10 pips on this euro yen. Second half, that is actually. So, really focusing on the euro pairs because of the load of figure on this euro yen. And see if you can get it down to the 90s. That's weird. I'm short Yuri N from um, from 12. So why would you want to be shorting it at 98? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Let's break, break through this figure. 99. Come on, let's go down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 